Gold viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And today I'm sitting down here and chatting with Deborah Lewis about her upcoming presentation, Engaged and in Gear, Fathers in Maternal and Newborn Health. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you, Melissa. I'm so glad you had took time out of your busy schedule. I know you have a full calendar of things on your on your schedule working with families um, keeping them healthy and <laughs> working with dads as we can see here on the slides but before we get into the topic can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your professional journey um, well you know for as long as I can remember I wanted to do nursing and then when I did nursing I just absolutely fell in love with the maternity field, with that area, and decided to do midwifery. Um, a little bit as well is that I decided that wherever in the world I ended up living, that women would be giving birth. Uh, mm -hmm. They'd be having babies so that I would always be involved in the field. And that's really how I got involved in midwifery. Um, I love it. It's my passion. Um, I've worked, I trained and worked in the United States initially and then moved to the Caribbean, where I currently live in Trinidad and Tobago. And, um, you know, although I'm very involved in the administrative side and the academic side of midwifery, I feel as if I will never give up my clinical practice because I just absolutely enjoy it. Mm, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> and I'm glad, I'm, I'm thinking the families uh, are g very blessed to have you <laughs> taking good care of them. Now, let's dive into the topic itself a little bit. If you think of, if we're all aware of, traditionally healthcare services usually focus on the mothers, on the focus on the birthing person. And uh, if I think back to my midwifery training, my midwifery school, um, we are trained to take care of mommy, take care of baby, and make sure everybody is happy and healthy. But um, in the books, nowhere really uh, is the daddy involved, the father, or in our societies nowadays, any kind of partner um, in the family, or the rest of the family even. You know, so so this has been a topic that traditionally has has been kind of overlooked. So tell us a little how you got into this. How how did you how did this become important for you? Um, I think initially I was, you know, very conscious of even the way we treated um, women when they, they they came into our care, mm -hmm. and you know the the level of respect and choice and so on that we gave them. And then I began to understand that we quite often left the families out. Um, not even just the partner, but the entire family. And then I became even more focused on understanding the role of the partner and just how much their presence or absence or involvement could impact on the outcomes and the experience for that woman and for the entire family. So I started really paying more attention to it. And at the birth center where I am now, we we really started doing some unofficial research and, and sort of interviewing the partners about what they wanted and how they felt. And I began to understand even more that, you know, um, for example, we do childbirth preparation classes, but they're absolutely geared towards the mother and, right. and telling the partner how, again, they can support the mother. But there's nowhere in the visits, even if we include them, that we actually allow them to to ventilate about how they feel or, or direct our questions to them or ask them to share. You know, mm -hmm. we involve them in the care, but it's still the focus, is still the care on the woman. And so I became really interested in the topic and started exploring it even more. And the response that I got from the partners just confirmed for me that we really needed to do a lot more. I can imagine. I mean, how was that received when you started interviewing these uh, partners, these, um, you know, dads and partners, oh. uh, where they, 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 they probably were, oh, 
saying to you, wow, I do have a voice. I, I am being heard. They probably took this very positive. Uh, you got probably yes, a very they, positive I mean, response, right? They really appreciated it. They, they absolutely did. And then they, they wanted us to start um, childbirth classes for them separately. <laughs> Um, or even just a support group for them separately because right. we have several support groups that we run, but they, they just felt like there was nothing for them specifically. So we've actually even started a father support group where they meet and they've been very clear that they don't want anyone else but themselves in that room <laughs> so that they're able to really you know, share honestly their feelings. Um, but they, they really were, they really appreciated what we were doing and, um, and excited, excited about it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Deborah. I am very excited about your presentation and looking forward to it. Um, Deborah's presentation, Engaged and in Gear, Fathers in Maternal and Newborn Health, is part of our Gold Online Midwifery Conference 2018. For more information on this presentation and other presentations of this conference, please visit goldmidwifery.com. Thank you all for listening. Bye-bye.